This is the coolest looking night vision device I own. The folded biocular design gives it an unbeatable cyberpunk aesthetic. However, it has some significant issues, so much so that the PLA has rejected it from military service. This is the CETC11 Mini Lucy. It is a 50 degree wide field of view folded by ocular manufactured by the 11th Research Institute of the CETC. It was originally developed for the PLA, likely as a more compact replacement for the BBG 011A units in current PLA service. However, it did not win the PLA tender, likely because of the reasons we're about to discuss. Let's start with its performance relative to other Chinese units. Outdoors, in roughly NL3 levels of illumination, the unit appears to perform quite well. However, upon closer comparison to its monocular peers, we can see that the Mini Lucy falls behind in resolution and gain, even against monoculars with lower spec tubes. This resolution drop is even more obvious when we focus on this excavator, where we can see that the Mini Lucy falls behind the Norinco GS610A monocular which also has 50 degree field of view optics. And when compared to CETC's own monocular with similarly spec tubes, it just falls way behind. And now we're in NL4 starlight levels of darkness and here we can see the CTC11 Lucy still providing a somewhat useful image, however it falls really far behind the other monoculars, especially the Yaxa 14 with the MVT7 tube. And now, a test in a more controlled environment. This is how the unit perform in simulated NL2 half moonlight. And now for simulated NL4 starlight levels of darkness. And now for NL5 to 6 extreme low light. This is levels of darkness you basically won't find outdoors in nature. Yeah, unfortunately, the design of a photo biocular like the Mini Lucy necessitates mirrors and image splitting prisms that reduces the effective system resolution and gain of the unit. The end result of this is that despite having a much higher spec NVT5 tube, the Mini Lucy falls behind the Norinco GS610A, which has a rather low spec NVT4 tube. Moreover, the Norinco GS610A is also a 50 degree wide field of view unit. Coupled to the fact that the GS610A is also a few thousand CNY cheaper than the Mini Lucy, and you can start to see why you can't really justify spending much more on a Mini Lucy. Also, we've established that the optical resolution of the Mini Lucy isn't that great, but let's test it on an ISO 12233 chart to get a precise measurement. Fill in the entire 50 degree field of view of the unit with the chart from edge to edge, we can see that the Mini Lucy can resolve around 250 lines of resolution in highlighting conditions of 1 lux of illumination. But when we bring the illumination level down to 0.01 lux, which is around NL3 partial moonlight levels, we can clearly see that the resolution on the Mini Lucy start to suffer a lot. Under these conditions, we're probably only getting around 100 lines of effective resolution. In comparison, at 1 lux of illumination, the Norinco GS610A has around 500 lines of effective resolution. And when we drop the illumination level down to 0.01 lux NL3, the GS610A's effective resolution drops to 200 lines, but it's still twice that of the Mini Lucy. 
Also, a consequence of the very complex optical formula of the photobiocular design is that the eye box and the eye relief of the unit is just bad. To get the perfect 50 degree field of view of the unit, you really have to have your eye in precisely the correct spot. Any deviation or displacement from it will just result in the image going away. So yeah, you can forget about using this unit with gas masks. In contrast, the straightforward optical design of the Norinco GS610A and its massive eyepiece allows it to have not only 50 degrees of field of view, but for you to enjoy that 50 degrees of field of view with a really big eye box and a very decent eye relief. So much so that you can actually use the GS610A with a gas mask and retain the full 50 degrees of field of view. So yeah, we can now clearly see the possible reasons why the PLA ultimately rejected this unit. They simply had access to cheaper and better options. But with all that over, let me tell you why I got this unit and why I plan on keeping it. Firstly, it's aesthetics. You just cannot beat the cyberpunk aesthetic of a folded by ocular night vision device. Yeah, I may rant a lot about the bad eye box of the unit, but if you use this unit with its included mount and you don't need to use a gas mask, then it becomes a non-issue. Despite its lower resolution and gain, navigating with this unit is actually quite pleasant. Also, the Mini Lucy gives you a rectilinear 50 degrees of field of view with no fisheye distortion. For comparison, this is how much smaller 40 degrees of field of view is, which is a standard for most other night vision devices. Having that wide rectilinear 50 degrees of field of view just makes doing things like navigating in close quarters and driving that much easier. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.